Sale Freaks Repricer. The repricer is one of the most unique and important features in the software. It not only makes sure your items will sell at a profit, but it also creates a competitive edge over other sellers on eBay. You will first need to understand the various fees in order to start using the repricer. So how exactly does the repricer operate? First, we need to take into account our break-even settings. You all know in retail arbitrage that we have fees to pay. These include eBay fees. These fees are already calculated when you list an item and is added to the Amazon product price by default, which means any item you list will have the eBay fee already calculated in the software. In Sale Freaks, it is always calculated at 9%. PayPal fee. This fee is added in our global settings area, where you insert your PayPal fee according to the agreement you have with PayPal, which is usually based on which country you operate out of. Amazon tax. This is another important factor that needs to be taken into account. The Amazon sales tax will increase the price of an item purchase and accordingly require you to mark up the item price. This usually happens with SBA. To get started, go to Settings, Global Settings. Find the repricer profit range. Here you'll need to set a range between 5% to 15% which means you are creating a variable that determines the lowest profit you are willing to sell an item for and the highest profit. So now you're asking yourself, how does the system determine how to choose the lowest or highest profit? Well, unlike most monitors, Sale Freaks not only checks Amazon prices, but also checks eBay prices, and most importantly, your competitor price. By searching through eBay, we look for title, UPC, MPN, and a few more item-specific pieces of info that will match your listing with similar listings. Once we discover all the items from competition that match your listings, we will look at the profit range and set the price. In case your profit range is between 5% and 15%, and the software found that the lowest selling price is at 4%, it will fix the price at 5%. On the other hand, if the lowest price is 20%, it will create the higher markup of 15%. But the best case is when we find the lowest price is between the variable, say 10%, then this system will set the price at 9.99%, thereby undercutting your competition and making your listing the lowest selling price. If you want to see how this happens, create a few listings on your account. Go to your items page and start looking through your profit range. You will be able to see for yourself that different items are repriced differently according to the competition on eBay. Use this tool wisely and it will serve you well.